Hi everyone, Mike here from Comp3 Interactive. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at something that I've seen floating around on a couple of the Facebook pages that I'm in, and that is simulating offline progress. Now, what I mean by that is you'll notice on certain games, if you're offline for however long, when you load back up into that game, it gives you a quick pop-up and you get your welcome back message and it gives you a bit of extra gold that you've earned while you've been away. I'm going to show you how to do that. So just like always, it's not overly difficult, so we'll just jump straight into it. So as you can see here, I've got a very basic project set up. I've just got four Text Mesh Pro elements and all they are are a literal for the last login and also a literal for uh, offline earnings and then two more, one for the amount of days, hours and minutes we've been offline and another one for uh, amount of gold that we've earned while offline. Now we can do this all in one script, so we'll create a C-sharp script and we'll call this offline progress and we'll load this back up in Visual Studio. So we're going to start by getting rid of the update, we don't need that along with that comment and we don't need the two system namespaces, but we will be using Text Mesh Pro and we'll also be using the system namespace. So we'll start off by just throwing in the references to our text UI elements that we're going to be changing with this. So that'll be public Text Mesh Pro UGUI, gold text, and public Text Mesh Pro UGUI, time text. Okay, so let's have a think about what we're going to do here. We're going to need to save a reference to the last time that we played the game, specifically the time in which we closed the game. Luckily, Unity has a method to control this for us already, and that is on application quit. So whenever we quit the game, on application quit gets fired. So we can store our current time at the point of our application ending during this method. Now the way that I'm going to do this, I'm going to go super simple and I'm just going to use player prefs. Now you can use player prefs if you like, as I've said in previous videos though they're not strictly secure. So please take a look at my saving data mini series where I go over player prefs, JSON serialization and also binary serialization. Binary serialization is probably your best bet, your most secure, because this kind of thing you don't want your players to be changing outside of the game. But like I say, just for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to use player prefs just to give you the overall idea of how to do this. So we'll start by saving our quit time in a, on application quit. So we're going to use player prefs dot set string. We're going to give it the string name, last login, and we're going to pass string. As simple as that. So now whenever our application quits, we're going to create the player pref last login with the current time at that point. So now we need to get that. So we need to double check that we actually do have that player pref key in there. So we can just do if playerprefs.hasKey last login, we know we can load it. Or else we know this is potentially our first time in the game, so we don't have a previous login time. So if that is the case, if we don't have a login time, we can set time text dot text equal to welcome and goal text dot text equal to zero because we're not going to give him free gold for nothing so now what about if we do have the key so we do have a date to compare against well what we'll do we'll grab that and we'll put it into a date time class and we'll call that last login so we can set that equal to datetime.parse and datetime.parse takes in a string and converts it to a date time format so we can just do our player prefs dot get string inside here. Last login and close that bracket off. So now all being well, we have the time that our application last quit stored inside last login. 
So now we want to compare that against the current time that it is now when the game loads. So to do that, we can use a time span, which gets a, um, a differential between two date time classes. So that's perfect for us. So we'll call that TS and we'll set that equal to the current time, so date time dot now, minus our last login. So now TS has all the time differences between these two date times. And quite simply, we can just do time text dot text is equal to, and we'll do a string dot format just to make this uh, a little bit nicer code wise. So that'll be the amount of days, the amount of hours, the amount of minutes and the amount of seconds, and we'll just add a go at the end there as well. So when we pass these values in, on screen, this is going to say, for example, 3 days, 12 hours, 19 minutes, and 45 seconds ago, dependent on what our player breath call brings back. So we can just add in our TS days to our first parameter, TS hours, TS minutes and TS seconds. So that'll update that. Now we'll update our value text. So that'll be value text dot text is equal to, and now we have to work out how our reward is going to work. Now for this example, I'm going to give the player one extra gold for every minute that they've been offline. So the way that I can go about doing this, I can set TS dot total minutes, so that'll get the total amount of minutes. So if there's um, two hours and 30 minutes, total minutes will be 150. 60 minutes per hour plus 30 for the 30 minutes, 150. I hope that's right. Someone will tell me in the comments if it isn't. Um, and then we can just append the G onto the end of that as well. Sorry, that's not value text, that's gold text. The problem with this is, though, this brings back a double which means we're going to have a decimal format on screen. So we'll just cast this to an int to round it to its nearest integer. Now, the way that you could actually go about doing this yourselves, you could store this, or just the integer value, inside of a parameter and pass it into your inventory and just automatically add those coins in. For the purposes of this example, though, I'm just going to put them out on screen so you can see this working. So now we can go ahead and actually set this up. So we'll pop back over into Unity. We'll just select our canvas and we'll throw on offline progress. Drag in our last login to our time text and our value into our goal text. I think actually it's, yeah, it's our time that we need to drag in, not our last login, sorry. Now if we were to play this, we should see zero gold and welcome up here because this is the first time that we've actually played it so let's test this out and there we go we see welcome and zero gold but now if we were to close that we'll wait a couple of seconds and then play it again we can see now that our last login was eight seconds ago but we still haven't earned any gold because we're only giving it per minute so what i'm going to do I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to let time elapse, and we'll come back and check our reward in a few minutes' time. Okay, that's been a couple of minutes. Soon we'll be able to find out exactly how long it was. So if we play the game now, when we ended the game last time, it should have stored our date and time, and when we load up again, we'll do a comparison and see how long we've been off. And we can, so we see we were offline for 3 minutes and 40 seconds, giving us an extra three gold. So like I say, you can then go ahead and add this to the player's inventory as soon as you've displayed it. And of course, you could actually go in, you could do anything, all sorts of weird and wonderful things to calculate the reward based on parameters in your game, or even just leave it like this and give them one gold every minute. So I hope this has been useful. I hope you can see how extremely simple this is, and I'd love to see how you implement this into your games as well. So I'll drop a comment down below on how you actually implemented this and what reward you give your players. And with that, that's this video finished. So I'll see you again soon.
I'd just like to thank GT3000 for his support over on Patreon. If you'd like to support the channel, then you can check out the link in the description. Thanks again guys, it's really appreciated. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more bite-sized Unity hints and tips.